Marvel's Black Panther received rave reviews when it was released in theaters back in 2018, and now it is back with even more fanfare. But for many, this film is about much more than a popular superhero. Akila Davis joining us now from Hillside High School this evening, where a group of students received a hands-on lesson and a trip to the theater. Akila, tell us about it. Yeah, you know, talk about a movie that's for the culture. These Hillside High School students going to the movie to see Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I was talking to several students today and they tell me it's the representation for them. I'm excited to take our um, black and brown students to go see something that looks like them, that honors them. Um, it gives them power. And that's power English teacher Jahar Davis says is rarely shown on the big screen. Show them. Cool. After seeing this trailer, she called AMC Theaters to get approval for a special early screening, then made a flyer and got help from the community. 96 students from her class boarded buses and headed to South Point. It's not really that many black or minority superheroes in like either the Marvel or the DC universe. So like for it to be Black Panther, he's a black African-American male like myself, it feels like very inclusive and empowering. I don't know, it just makes you feel great to see like the black people just come up. Other students feel the movie opens doors for more superheroes. It used to be just white, like Marvel superheroes, and now it's becoming black Marvel superheroes. Next, it could be Hispanic Marvel superheroes. In CCU, mass communications professor Dr. Gabriel Cruz says the movie is a big draw because it celebrates cultural diversity. It is a message that Afrofuturism is worthwhile and that we should be paying more attention to it. Science fiction, or even fantasy for that matter, that centers people of color and incorporates not just the aesthetic, but also a lot of the struggles. It's messaging, he says, everyone is watching, including Professor Davis, whose students chant this message at the start of each class and today before heading to the theater. Such a great, impactful story there. So, Professor Davis says there will be no exam on this movie. She says instead, students are off tomorrow, but she says on Monday she'll gather them around and she says they'll have what's called a restorative circle where they'll actually talk about how the movie made them feel. We're live in Durham. I'm Akila Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.